What's up Galaxy fans? Today we're diving into seven powerful Samsung One UI 8 features you probably didn't even know existed. So these updates take your Galaxy experience from good to next level. And hey, before we start, smash the like button, drop a comment and hit subscribe. The more likes this video gets, the more YouTube pushes it out to other Samsung lovers like you. So let's make this happen. So feature number one is where you can now show the now bar on your lock screen. So the new now bar shows real-time updates like songs playing, delivery tracking or calls right on your lock screen. Let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here you want to first go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. From here, find now bar. So here you want to go ahead and configure what you want to show on your now bar. As you can see, I've enabled everything on my now bar except for emergency sharing. So you can go ahead and enable anything you like over here and you can go ahead and start using it. So as an example, we'll go ahead and play a song to enable the now bar. So when I go ahead and press home, when I go ahead and lock the screen, you'll see that the now bar is showing me the media which is being played. So from here, I can go ahead and control this. I can go ahead and pause it, play it, skip to next song, and so on. So no need to unlock your phone every few minutes. You have quick info, quick control, and maximum convenience using the now bar. Feature number two is your screenshot cropping. So when you snap a screenshot, a editing toolbar pops up instantly. From here, you can basically crop, draw, and add text without even opening gallery. However, when you go ahead and screenshot anything, your Samsung Galaxy device snaps to that image to give you the perfect screenshot. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up Instagram. Now on Instagram, we'll go ahead and just scroll down and find a post. So let's just say, for example, this post here. Now next, I'll go ahead and take a screenshot. Now I'll go ahead and tap on the crop button here. And now here, as you can see, when I go ahead and crop this, this basically snaps to that square where the post has been taken. So like this, you can basically take perfect screenshots and then go ahead and save it. You can go ahead and edit it using this pencil icons here, or you can go ahead and share it or save it to your gallery. So this saves time, keeps your gallery clutter free, and this is perfect for quick social shares or removing any private details from your screenshots. Feature number three is where you can turn off video stabilization to zoom out more. So when you switch off the stabilization mode on your camera app, your camera lets you zoom out more. So basically you're unlocking a wider field of view. So this is only available on your video mode. So here an example, I'll go ahead and open up the camera app. So here I'll go ahead and move it to 0.6x. So as you can see now, we can see a flower pot here. Let's go ahead and move this mic right here. So as you can see, I can see the mic here on the left and the flower pot. So now I'll go ahead and turn off video stabilization. So I'll tap on the four dots, tap on settings, from here, find video stabilization, turn it off. Now, if you go back, you'll notice that you will have a more wider field of view. So as you can see, now there's more space on the left of that mic and more space on the right of that flower pot. So as an example, this is where video stabilization is off. Just take a picture and now I'll go ahead and turn it on. And this is where it's turned on. Now when you go ahead and view this, so this is where it's turned on and this is where it's turned off. So this way you get a wide cinematic shot without extra gear. It's a content creator's dream for traveling and vlogging. Feature number four is your fingerprint animation. So One UI 8 lets you customize fingerprint animations. So from a subtle wave to glowing rings on the lock screen. So let me show you how to customize this. So first you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and find Lockstar. Go ahead and install this module and tap on it. This will now take you to your lock screen customization. And now here you'll notice this fingerprint icon. So just around the fingerprint icon, there's a square. If you go ahead and tap on this, this will now let you turn on the fingerprint animation for when you unlock your device. So here, this is what the animation is. So you've got a glowing ring. You got some ghost. You got some fireworks and you got another glowing ring. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you like. So I'll go ahead and choose that. Now I'll press done at the top right, and then I'll go ahead and try it out. So this makes every unlock feel futuristic and personal. So it's a small touch that gives premium vibes on your Samsung Galaxy device. 
Feature number five is where you can turn on swipe to change the camera view. So swipe up or swipe down in the camera app lets you flip between front and rear cameras. So this is a new one in One UI 8. So no more hunting for buttons. You can just go ahead and swipe up and down and you can switch your camera view. So here is an example, we'll go ahead and open up the camera app. And now as you can see, it started off in the selfie view. However, if you go ahead and swipe up, this will then move over to the back camera. If I swipe up again, this will come back to the front camera. So I can go ahead and quickly do this in mid recording and go ahead and record whatever I like. So let me just show you how to turn this on. So you wanna go ahead and tap on the four dots, then tap on settings. From here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find swipe preview up or down. Tap on this and then tap on switch cameras. So this needs to be selected. Go back and then go ahead and test it out. So with this, you can capture those quick moments or selfie reactions instantly. Faster transition means fewer missed shots when you're recording on your Samsung Galaxy device. Feature number six is your device protection. The Samsung's Nox powered device protection scans for malware and unsafe apps automatically. However, Google has basically teamed up with Samsung and you can basically turn on the device protection from Google. So let me show you how to do this. So in order to turn device protection, go ahead and find your quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find Google. Now from here, go ahead and tap on all services and then go ahead and scroll down and find advanced protection. Go ahead and scroll down and now find device protection. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Now from here, go ahead and tap on turn on. And now your device is protected using Google. So this keeps your phone secure without slowing it down. It's smart, safe, and it's built in. So no extra app needed. And lastly, feature number seven is your multitasking with two apps. So when you open up two apps side by side with a simple gesture, you can basically watch a video while taking notes or chat while browsing. So this is like a 90 to 10 ratio on your Samsung Galaxy screen. So here is an example, we'll go ahead and open up two apps in split screen mode. So first one is Facebook. And now the second one is, let's just say, good luck. So here I can go ahead and keep watching a video at the top. However, I can go ahead and look at good luck as well. But now since I said 90 to 10 ratio, you can go ahead and move this center bar and move it to the bottom. So now this gives you a 90 to 10 ratio. So you can go ahead and watch this video, do whatever you like here. And now once you're done with that, you can go ahead and tap at the bottom here. And this will basically let you move on to another app. Good luck. And here you can do whatever you like while the other app is still running. If you want to return back to that, go ahead and tap on that and that will return back and you can go ahead and continue browsing. So you can multitask like a pro. It's perfect for productivity. You can have study sessions or entertainment on the go. And that's your One UI 8 Power Pack, seven features that make your Galaxy faster, smarter, and more personal. Which feature is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe, because the more likes this video gets, the more YouTube shares it with other Samsung fans. So I'm the Simple Dad, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.